get to play again. I think there was a book once, uh, The Soul of a New Machine, uh, by Tracy Kidder, that uh, they called that pinball. If you, get, if you do well, you get to play again. Um, I think we've done okay. And as we move into 2015, 2016, um, we've, never, we've, we've never taken the, any year on where we didn't think that we weren't sure exactly how we were gonna do it this year. Um, and so next year is gonna definitely be no, uh, no different. So one of the major changes that's gonna occur with the challenge next year is, so far we've kind of cycled through mind, mobility, uh, you would expect financial security next, knowing the organization of the center. Um, but in talking with Laura Carstensen and the rest of the staff at the center, they said, eh, let's just do it all. Um, and so next year, we're actually going to have a challenge that uh, targets all three areas. And in fact, be essentially running three separate challenges uh, around one topic. Um, and we thought really hard about what topic to choose, because if it's going to be bigger, we better get it right. Um, and similar to what June just said, I was very moved. Um, by a book written by Atul Gawande, some of you may have read, um, called Being Mortal. And one of the, the quotes that struck me within it was um, that safety is what you want for someone else and independence is what you want for yourself. Um, and we think there's a lot of opportunity in, uh, in the space of designing for older populations where we, walk, where we can start to step away from how are we designing for them um, how are we designing to just accommodate the deficit? Um, that, that living longer, you know, there's a saying about, uh, it's not about putting more years in your life, it's about more putting more life in your years. Uh, and that's where we're going next year. So why don't you go ahead and unveil it there. So our topic for next year is actually happiness. And it's how can we uh, optimize longevity using happiness? Go ahead and roll one more. And so what we're going to do is underneath that topic, um, we have three areas. Delight the mind. So we're going to be looking for ways um, that we can actually make people happier through maybe games, maybe activities, maybe connections and social engagements. Um, we continue on mobility with Discover the Motion. And I think some of the uh, entrants this year perhaps could even have, have been placed into next year's competition. Um, because it's about how can, we, how can we make motion fun? How can we make continuing to be active, you know, enjoyable? And then finally, and this one may have been the tricky one, um, was financial security. How do you make financial security fun? Um, we went out and actually spoke with a number of our partners uh, or our, and our corporate affiliates that represent many of the major financial institutions. And it was, it was really informative that I thought when we said, what would you like to see in a design challenge? I was expecting it to be, well, we really need a new annuity design that maybe is going to set up at this number of years and we can, and to, you know, a T, all of them said, no, you know, we've got more product designs than we could ever manage, but what we really need to do is we need to get people talking to each other. Uh, and we need to get people talking to each other across the, life, the lifespan. We need younger people talking to older people, their parents, we need younger people understanding what they need to be doing at this point in their life that will help them be happier and more secure later. And so our third topic is engaging in the conversation. Uh, and we're going to be looking for uh, ways to engage conversations on financial security, perhaps ways to monitor it real time throughout your life. Um, we're going to be putting out in the, uh, the lobby a, a two-page descriptor that will give you a little bit more detail about this if anybody would like to, uh, to see that as you go out. But, we certainly are just getting to the beginning of this, but we will have three challenges, three sets of finalists, three sets of prizes, um, and you're going to hear a lot more about this over the next few weeks. Um, one of the things that I haven't mentioned, and never are you here? Oh, there you are. Uh, can I talk about you? Sure. Okay. Um, <laughs> I didn't know this was actually uh, okay to talk about. Um, but Deborah Yang is here. Um, representing Silver Linings Global, which is an organization in Taiwan. And you may have seen that Taiwan was extraordinarily supportive of, of EatWell. Um, and uh, Deborah and a group from Silver Linings came to us uh, earlier in the year and said, we really like the idea of a competition. We'd really like to get more designs coming out of Taiwan and Hong Kong as well now. And, and China And China as well. Um, so they're going to be actually running a design competition ahead of our design competition. Um, and actually, their finalists will be part of our design entries. Uh, and it's a way of sort of expanding the global reach of the challenge and getting support 
that you know to, in a local way, which I don't think we could do, especially in Asia. So thank you for that, and I look forward to working with you over the next year. Thank you. So with that, I don't think I can. Well, oh, I actually have one more, more one more announcement. Um, so also uh, going on to next year, I want to thank uh, Russ Hill from the New Retirement Forum, who has stepped up again and agreed to sponsor uh, next year's challenge. Um, and also a gentleman named Craig Bowman, who I've just met uh, for the first time today from the Foundation for Happier Aging, who has, Craig, thank you, thank also you. stepped up and is going to be a sponsor for next year's challenge. Now, that doesn't mean I'm not going to be out soliciting everybody else again, too, so you're not, you're not off the hook from that.